We're going to move now to even more tragic new developments in a story we've been following since last week. A nurse who was waiting for a bus near Union Station was violently attacked. And tonight, 70-year-old Sandra Shells has died. It has prompted local leaders to call for a thorough investigation. NBC4's Lauren Coronado is in Boyle Heights with a look at how Shells is being remembered. Sandra Shells dedicated nearly 40 years of her life to patients and her community here at LA County USC. Tonight, her loved ones mourning her loss. She's just a beautiful person, just a beautiful inside and out. Liz Anderson says she's lived across the street from 70 year old Sandra Shells more than 40 years here in Lamert Park. She loved to help people. She, she, she loved people and she loved to help people. And, and I just know that she that was her life. Really, she worked all the time for 38 years. She cared for patients at LA County USC and all the time I would see her was when she was going to take the bus to go to work. I, mean, I was concerned about her having to be on the bus stop early Thursday morning. The unimaginable while shells was waiting at a Metro bus stop on the corner of Vignes Street and Cesar Chavez Avenue. Police say she was randomly and violently attacked by a transient and rushed to the hospital with a fractured skull. By Sunday afternoon, LA County USC shared she had died. Adding in a statement, Sandra worked tirelessly and selflessly to keep her patients safe and healthy and will always be remembered as a kind, compassionate and giving nurse with a helpful and thoughtful nature who was a favorite amongst colleagues and patients. Outrage shared by local leaders. Supervisor Catherine Barger calling for a full investigation into the attack. Supervisor Hilda Solis, Metro Board Chair, saying in a statement, I will continue to push for an enhanced safety plan for riders and staff so we can prevent tragic incidents like this from happening again. Anderson hoping for justice. That man should never be allowed on the streets again, ever. I'm going to miss her dearly. And police arrested the suspect shortly after the attack. We know he had one prior arrest here in LA and several prior arrests in other states. Reporting in Boyle Heights, Lauren Coronado, NBC4 News.